guys, it's Holly here for PlayStation Access now. Like most young people, I grew up playing Unreal Tournament. So the fact that I work for PlayStation Access and I'm sat here talking to Epic Games, it's actually quite a big deal. What's it like bringing a game to PlayStation finally? Oh, it's awesome. We were excited to be here. It's been it's been years in the making. You guys have never been on the PlayStation stage before, you said. Nope, this is the first time, so I got a chance to walk out and say how excited it was for Epic to be on the PlayStation stage. And that got a great reaction from the crowd. It is. It's, it's great to finally have you guys with us on PlayStation. Yeah. Now, let's talk about a MOBA. Epic Games are known for some pretty serious action titles. A MOBA, like, still full of action. That's a really different change of pace for you guys. It is. It's it's really exciting because we, we you know, MOBA genre is one of the most popular genres in the world. Just a li you know, like I've heard a, a one or two bit. things about a few MOBAs yeah. that are out there. And and they, you know, MOBAs offer a promise of intense action. They A lot of companies make uh, cinematic trailers. And so we wanted to shock and awe people by making a cinematic trailer and then releasing a gameplay that shows that the game is very, very close to the cinematic experience. It really is. Now, if you guys watched uh, the PlayStation Experience conference and you saw the cinematic and didn't see the gameplay trailer, you guys should follow it up because you did. I'm really impressed, actually. You're right. And we do see these mobile trailers and they're beautiful and they're cinematic. And then the gameplay, it's not the same. Same. It's not the same. But this yeah. was really close. Yeah. It was really impressive and really action-packed. Yeah, and that's the, the great thing is people have been having that conversation of the, you know, I've never gotten into MOBAs or I don't play MOBAs or X, Y, and Z. And then it's the, but this one, okay, Epic, fine, I'll finally okay. play a MOBA. I trust you, okay. Epic. Yeah. <laughs> like, I've been on the roller coaster with you before. Like, I believe that you guys can do it. Yep. So the uh, the trailer obviously showed different classes. Really obvious to spot, just that you got your tank class mm -hmm. and some support classes. Yeah. Obviously, the big MOBAs that are out there, we are talking characters for days. That's right. Yep. Is that the plan for you guys, a massive roster and just drip feeding them to launch? Yeah, so the plan is to have a really aggressive launch schedule for, for new characters and new content because uh, a living game lives based on how often you can update it and, and make it a living, breathing thing, and people have to adjust and, and relearn how to play the game. Uh, so we will launch with a, a good amount of characters. And then <laughs> I like that. It's a, good, you around the a good amount number. of characters. And then uh, on a, again, aggressive cadence, we'll release new ones. How is this going to work out for people who want to play certain classes, any kind of game, whether it be MMO or even into something like Destiny? I play tank. Uh -huh. um, there are certain games where those lines can blur. You're still playing as a tank, but actually you can do a little bit of everything. Are you guys going to have very specific class roles? So we'll have uh, specific class roles, but inside the customization options in the game, uh, most MOBAs have an itemization scheme. We have cards, and so our card system works relatively similar. So in all the other MOBAs, you have an item shop that has all the things in it. Yeah. And that means you have less chance of being surprising and being clever, because if you ever do something really smart, but it's not the optimal one, I have the item that makes it a, a poor choice. So in our game, we wanted to say, we really want to keep that chance for people to be clever. So instead, you build a deck of cards. Okay. You bring that deck into the game, and that's what you play with for that match. And so you have a chance to go, okay, I'm going to do this surprising thing. And if I don't bring something to help mitigate that, then you gain the advantage. And so you get into that chess match. If you like playing tanks, one of the most popular build for our tank, Steel, who's on the screen back yeah. here, is a cooldown reduction build where, because he's a controller, he manipulates people, he, he does uh, stuns and stuff like that. Uh, you can do those abilities over and over again. And I know that the most popular build is the cooldown one, so I can, because I know that you know that I know that you know, I can build a deck to mitigate that. And so you get into this chess match of, of knowledge, and it's a lot more like poker. Than it, okay. is, than it is a normal itemization MOBA scheme. So how do you get these cards then? Are these something that will be the drops? Is it going to be uh, random loot? Or will you maybe earn cash that you can exchange for cards? The, the latter. So you'll, you'll play the game. As yep. you come out of a match, you'll be rewarded with some sort of time currency. And then you use that time currency as you aggregate it to buy card packs. You get a bunch of cards. Those so cards still got to pray to our Jesus for your good drops, even with your card packs. Yes, yes, but we'll we'll add some nice tricks to mitigate. You'll oh. as you as you play, you you should very quickly get up to a spot where you have a lot of choices, and it becomes about making the best use of your choices that are available. Now, I think if we're going to be honest about MOBAs, they don't really live on console. Mm -hmm. What are you guys doing to help with that? Because I know we chatted about this off camera, and right. I was really excited. Uh, but I'll let you say it. So. Yeah. How are PC and PS4 going to interact? Well, we knew that MOBAs being the, one of the most popular genres in the world, it deserves to be on console. It deserves to be wherever competitive gamers are. And so one of the things we worked with PlayStation on was doing cross-play and cross-progression. So cross-play is the very simple, kind of everybody understands. That's We're right. all on the surface together. That's right. Yeah. Yep. No second-class citizens. Everybody can play. doesn't matter your input device. doesn't matter your platform. You can all play together. 
And one of the things we knew was best for the gamers was to be able to take whatever you earn to your profile wherever you feel like playing. And so if you earn something on PS4 and you, you're at your parents' house and they have a PC that you want to play on, so you play there. Amazing. And then when you come back, uh, the end goal, uh, and we're not there yet, but we're working on it. The end goal will be all the systems are seamless. So friend invites, party invites, when we, if we, when we get around to doing you know, social groups like guilds and stuff yeah. like that, it doesn't matter what platform you're on, it should just work. What about controllers? Because obviously one of the first things uh, I guess people say is you're never going to make all that fit on a DualShock. Um, so how are you helping that feel comfortable? And is there still mouse and keyboard option even on PlayStation 4? So we knew we wanted to make it available to play on controller. It's designed from the ground up. There are no second class citizens here. Doesn't matter your input device. The pace of the game is such that you can play on a, a DualShock controller and do just fine. Uh, we, we joke that one of our guys is the best player in the world in the company, because <laughs> that's who's currently playing the game, and he chooses to play on controller against Amazing. people who play mouse and keyboard. And it's not, you know, it's not a sh uh, high-speed shooter, so it's not you know, 180 degree jump, no scope headshots. It's much more methodical, much more thoughtful. And so the, the input frequency you get from a thumbstick doesn't hurt compared to the precision you get from a mouse. Uh, now, as a community manager, I think one of the most important things we've been seeing with MOBAs is a way to have a healthy community that brings people in that are completely new to MOBAs, but really gives the, the high-class players their, their chance. Yep. What are you guys implementing from a community point of view to make sure that people who are new to MOBAs and are going to take time to learn feel comfortable and supported playing and learning? Right. I'm so glad you asked because the, the best answer is the players will always play better than the developers. Like it's yeah, just yeah, it's they something just do. They just like do. they just do. They're, they're better than us. And one of the things we want to do is give them the tools to make each other better. So we've implemented a replay system. And if you check out our gameplay video, it is part gameplay, which player perspective. You see the crosshair, crosshair changes color. The other pieces of it are done with our replay system. So you you play a match, you can go back in the replay, and you can move the camera around. You can slow motion it. Oh, you amazing. can grab all the best shots, and then you can share that with your friends. Because the best thing. The only thing better than telling a story to a friend about this amazing play you pulled off, when they call bullshit, you say, no, no, <laughs> this no really, this is what I did. And we also know, just looking at other competitive games online, players learn best from watching other skilled players play. And so we wanted to give them the tools in order to I think to, it's know. part of what have made MOBAs yeah. so huge is that ability to spectate. That's right. And there's a lot that goes into MOBAs where it's the it's a appreciable skill that you can learn. Right? A lot of a lot of other games are the I guess I just gotta get faster. Right? Yeah. I have to be younger and I'm a dad with three kids, but yeah, you know, yeah like it's not happening today, that's right. but but a lot of it with MOBA is the knowledge, yeah. it's the teamwork, it's the setup and the positioning, and those things are something you can see from a replay or from a stream and just go, okay, I can try that. Uh, amazing, thank you so much for your time. You're it's welcome. great to see Epic on PlayStation, Thanks. and it's going to be great to see someone like Epic putting a MOBA on PlayStation right. as well. well. We'd love to have your viewers sign up at Paragon.com for the beta. Yeah, now when is the beta starting? Do we have any news yet? Yes, so we're going paid early access yep. in spring of 2016, cool. and then open beta in summer of 2016. That's not too far apart, actually. It's not, not too far apart at all. And they can get all the details, I guess, at the website. Yep, at Paragon.com. Uh, there you go. So, Guys, thank you so much for watching. You can stay tuned to the YouTube channel because there's loads more coming up. And if you're one of the lucky countries, you can download the PlayStation Access app on your PlayStation 4 and watch all our videos on there.